Hello everyone, welcome to my Super Duty Predictions, take two. Sorry for the late video, but Amy Klobuchar dropped out today, so I had to redo it. Alright, now let's get back to where we are right now. Bernie at 60 delegates, Biden with 53, Bloomberg 0, Warren 0, Klobuchar dropped out 7, Bujaji dropped out 26. And let's see what the polling averages are. Bernie 30, Biden 19, Bloomberg 16, Warren 11, and everyone else dropped out, besides Gabbard. Alright, my Super Tuesday predictions. Alabama, first of all, I'll go Sanders, Biden, Bloomberg, Warren, Gabbard, in that order for all the states. I don't feel like saying the names. Okay, Alabama. 24, 42, 14, 17, 3. American Samoa. 24, 28, 9, 17, 22. This means Tulsi will get on the debate stage for the next debate. March 15th in Arizona. Arkansas. 24, 39, 15, 21, 1. By the way, both Klobuchar and Pete have endorsed Joe Biden. That will be huge for him. California, 31, 28, 16, 24, 1. Colorado, 31, 29, 14, 22, 4. Democrats abroad, 21, 25, 9, 26, 11. Maine, 29, 27, 17, 24, 3. Massachusetts, 32, 28, 9, 29, 2. Minnesota, 28, 32, 14, 26, 0. North Carolina, 24, 45, 11, 18, 2. Oklahoma, 37, 31, 22, 9, 1. Tennessee, 31, 31, 19, 18, 1. Texas, 35, 31, 13, 21. Utah, 27, 21, 25, 21, 2. Vermont, 46, 25, 13, 16, 0. Virginia, 27, 32, 16, 24, 1. The only people that are going to win contests are Warren, who will just win the Democrats abroad, and that's all. Biden and Sanders. Biden will win 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, and tie. Six and a half contests. Actually, seven and a half correction. And Bernie will win one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Yeah, I think that's right. Alright, that's the most important thing. Observations I have. Biden will do really well with the black vote, but will not get all of Pete and Amy's voters to come out. So it'll suppress him a little, but the extra dropout of them will get him a couple extra wins. Another interesting fact. Warren doing really well in every state except for Oklahoma. With her Cherokee or Cherokee scandal. We all know about it. Don't need to mention it. That will suppress our total in Oklahoma, which is a heavily Cherokee area. Also, Bloomberg will come out, not Wednesdays, but he'll pick up some delegates. And Bernie will be super consistent across the board. 20s and 30s all across the board, except for 46 in his home state. Biden won't drop below 20 either. And now let's go to the delegate calculator that I calculated. Let's see how they've checked before. Based on the polling averages, they estimate Bernie will get 1323, Biden will get 950, Bloomberg 621, Warren 183, Klobuchar 49.
All right. This is interesting. Feels like Bernie and Biden are going to pick up about equal delegates overall. Bernie may be slightly more because he has the two big prizes. But Biden is going to definitely take a foothold in this race. Wow, Biden is going to pick up a lot of delegates. Oh, the tie? Question mark. Let's see, what's that mean? Not, it doesn't really say much about ties. It's interesting. But overall, Bernie and Biden will be close together in pretty much every state. And how will this change productions? Bernie will have 1147, Biden 1141.5, Bloomberg 588, Warren 318.5. Klobuchar will stay with seven. This is a lot more likely with the contested convention now, as this will show. We reset this because I'm not sure if they fixed the Klobuchar thing. They're not gonna. All right. So Biden takes Alabama. And American Samoa. And Arkansas. And Bernie takes California and Colorado. Warren takes Democrats abroad. Well, they're not even listed here, which is interesting. I'm just going to ignore it for now. Bernie will take Maine and Massachusetts. This is a very flawed calculator because they don't have the margins, which is crucial in these type of situations. But it's best we got, so we're going to use it. Biden will win Minnesota and North Carolina. Doesn't even have a thing for Minnesota, but whatever. And Oklahoma goes to Bernie. Tennessee is a tie, so I'm going to leave it. Utah to Bernie, Vermont to Bernie, and Virginia to Biden. Virginia won't go to Biden. Hmm. I'm just going to get rid of the Samoa. And in these simulations, it says no one will get a majority, which I think was pretty likely from the start, and it seems like it now, but a lot more delegates go to Bernie and Biden than in the 270 to 1 calculator. Well, that just wraps up, about wraps up my predictions. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.